of two times 10 to the fifth meter per second. So usually they're going really quick, so I'm just saying. So let's say there is a, some kind of strong electrical burst from the sun, and so these charges, uh, it sends out these charges towards the uh, Earth, which happens. Uh, all these kinds of charges uh, the, the sun sends, and it comes towards the Earth with a velocity of 2 times 10 to the fifth meter per second. So if the Earth looks like this here, the field of the Earth come, is... Uh, coming from the south pole of the Earth, and it goes like that towards the north pole, and then it's the same as on this side. So let's say this electron is coming in like this. Um, it could come in either like this, and it'll be perpendicular at the equator, right? So in other words, uh, if you were looking top down, top view would look like what? We can look at it from, top view means like this. Look, it, look at it from your view like this. Your eye like that. What would it look like? The V would be going into the board. The V is going into the board, right? And then the B is up this way. It's going towards the north pole of the earth. So. The, depending on what kind of, is it the electron or the proton, what's going to happen here? V crossed into B, okay? So the proton is going to go this way. So if you're looking from here, the proton is going to uh, go this way, and the electron is going to go, which one do you suspect is going to have the smaller radius? Since they have the same V, but the, the smaller the m, the smaller the r, right? Since they have, well, and they have the same q, we know. The q of the proton and electron are the same. So I suspect that the electron, is, since it has a smaller m, will have the smaller radius, right? So the proton is going to go like that. The electron is going to go like this. Electron has the smaller orbit. Proton's got the bigger orbit because it's harder to make the magnetic field twist the proton, you see? The other way that this could happen is, uh, if, again, we could look at a top view. The other way this could happen is the magnetic field is going like this, and the charges enter it. Uh, let me erase this. the charge can enter it from this plane. In other words, the plane of the surface of the Earth and the positive charge Q can enter it like this. And then uh, let's say the electron could enter it like that. So negative Q. And then the proton is going to bend, uh, let's see here. Out of, oh, so it's going to come out like this. And then the electron is going to go uh, in. So depending on how, how it happened. Uh, so it could be that the proton entered the field this way from on the surface of the Earth, and then it's going to come out at you. And then the electron entered like this. It's going to go into the surface of the Earth. So it depends how it entered. But as long as it's perpendicular in this case. Okay? So the radius is going to be what? Let's use this formula. The proton is going to be, the mass of the proton is 1.6, I always forget, is it 1.672 or 1.627? Check the book. 72, right? 1.672 times 10 to the negative 27 kilogram. The velocity is, is given over the charge. times the, the, what was the other one, the, the B field. Okay, what is the B field of the Earth? 
roughly speaking. At the equator, it's probably about something like uh, 3 times 10 to the minus 6 uh, Teslas. Let me see. No, minus 5 Teslas. at the equator. <clears throat> I know at the, uh, the latitude of LA, it's about 2.56 or 2.5 for LA. It's about 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5 Teslas because it's stronger at the equator. When you get to LA, the magnetic field or has a X and uh, Z component. It has a component along the, uh, the surface of the Earth and it has a component vertical to the surface of the Earth. But at the equator, the magnetic field is only along the surface of the Earth. It's uh, parallel to the sur surface of the Earth, so it's stronger. So let's just say something like that, the magnetic field of the Earth. So we have three times 10 to the minus five. Okay, this one will give us a ballpark answer. What is the radius of the proton going to be? So we multiply this all out. This, the powers of the 10 you could do yourself. Uh, and this is 10 to the minus uh, 22. And then 10 to the minus 19 is 10 to the minus 3, and then 10 to the minus 5 is that's a uh, hundred, right? So the powers of the 10, I did it myself. And then when, once you do the other stuff, what does that come out? Point? Point 0.7. Just point 0.7? 70? Okay, that's interesting. 70 meters, or pretty large, huh? Based on its velocity. Now, if the velocity is bigger, it's going to be even bigger radius, right? Well, uh, what we could do is we don't have to redo everything. We can just, since everything is the same, I'm going to do a ratio. I'm just going to say the radius of the electrons orbit is 70 times the ratio of the mass of the electron over the mass of the proton. So the mass of the electron. 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 divided by 1.672 times 10 to the minus 27. So it's going to be a lot smaller. What is it? Point zero three, which is, if we want to visualize it a little better, three point eight centimeters roughly. Okay. So the electron is like about an orbit of about like this wide. That's 3.8 centimeter radius, so about this wide at that velocity. Whereas the proton is 70 meters. I can't even draw that. That's huge. Okay, so you see the difference.